So Brooklyn, so Harlem too. The top, the cop, the penthouse, the lobby too. Wait, why? Just to smoke in. I'm still hood, still low in. Your OGs might know him, cause I've been out and I go in. Yikes! The Mecca. Yeah. That's where it started. That's where it started, I guess, right? Hip hop is is basically the vibe and the, the, the um, actuality of what happens in these streets, you know? I mean, hip hop runs Brooklyn, like, especially with underground hip hop. Mainstream is a little bore, but underground hip hop is like basically what happened, like the scenery, the type of feeling, the energy, and the type of vibe that you, you get from the streets. You're into his life or whoever's rapping, you're in their life. Like you could tell that they really love that person or something like that. The type of feel like that is just like, you zone out and you're just listening to that one voice and that one voice is just making your whole day sometimes. Try to like, there's no certain generalization of human beings being more surprised. <laughs> the things put in the minute, miss the communication as the green dollar glitz moon don't shine. Don't, don't be risky, cause if you stick behind me, it's gonna be risky. They don't wanna see me succeed. I try like French vanilla. Hip hop isn't dead. It's really not dead. It depends on what you listen to, you know? You can sit there and listen to the radio all day and say hip hop is dead and never went on YouTube and find any underground rappers. There's actually a lot. Music is really wide, you know? It's extremely wide. There's a lot of artists out there. It's just, it's just the direction that the industry pushes the music as. You know what I'm saying? If, if the industry started pushing just underground music straight, then people would just be like, wow, this is, hip hop's not dead, this is amazing. But due to the fact that people look at the majority, the majority of the time look at the money side of it, they wouldn't really do that. So it's just like, it depends on where you're hearing it from and if you really want to search that. We're different people, we have different lives and all that, different experiences, like, it's dope to share your story with somebody else, because it's interesting, people don't know certain things that's going on, like, like, just to properly understand other aspects of life, you know? A lot of great things happen, a lot of bad things happen that you can actually story tell about, like, Brooklyn's an amazing place, so. Music and, and Brooklyn probably go hand in hand, like, just, Music helps Brooklyn as a culture, and the stuff that happens in, in Brooklyn helps music, so it's all like a cycle. I remember when I couldn't call myself real, could look up in the mirror and not see myself still. Now I'm nothing that you motherfuckers can't feel. People speculating like nobody's just that real. Damn, I didn't gone full circle. Jumped over moon stars, cradles, and hurdles. You could touch hell and the fear won't hurt you. You go through it all to fulfill your purpose. Cause I know who I am. You know, if I made music for other people, then it wouldn't be about me and it wouldn't be real. But people relate to me because they've gone through similar struggles. But still, uh, triumph is nothing if it doesn't come from tragedy. So I'ma keep on running with all of you bitches after me. And I'ma keep it coming, it's nothing you motherfuckers. Even though I overload, I'll function you motherfuckers like. It's all about really being who you are, staying true to who you are, staying true to where you came from, just telling your story. Because my story won't change. His name, Hassan Abdul. Weight 170, height 6'2, size 12, shoe, black hair, brown eyes, the warmest smile in the world, but so cold blooded inside. Who am I to judge him? I hate him, but I love him. Inshallah, he whispered, Masalama, I whimpered, damn. I didn't know my man was in the Taliban, t t t Taliban. Y'all should be glad I pushed my mixtape back. Get yourself a little shine before Mickey brings out the axe. Y'all should be glad I pushed my mixtape back. You know, all the major corporations now owning so much of radio airplay. It's like this homogenization of, of hip hop culture and the popular media. And all that means is that, you know, the underground just thrives again.
Evolved. It's still evolving. We're helping it evolve right now. So. You get to put a lot into it. It's like poetry. Kurt. It's like music is supposed to, you, you listen to music, you're supposed to be empowered and like feel good about yourself, but like when the hip hop is just sensed around like superficial stuff, like just girls and guns and money and stuff like that. Yeah. That's really what made me stop listening to hip hop, honestly. Yeah, commercial. Is that it got really sh like crummy. Really? I listen to underground more yeah. than I'm mainstream. listening back into it now, but it's like all underground people, like it's not any, definitely no commercial music. Man. There's nothing I can relate to, I think, yeah. for me. Um, Same. People Keep think capitalism that, yeah, going in. Yeah, that's just what just you need to do to be yeah. a rapper. Fuck, and looted up, and bison, I'm hiding in light. You ate for this 